Hello everybody, playing with the UBTech Intermediate U Kit again. And so here's their nice, their free app uh, available on all devices. And the great thing about their, one of the great things about their app is they have all these models in here for you to learn how to build with, with actual step-by-step -step instructions. And yes, there's 101 steps to building this scissors lift. Um, as simple as just, hey, put these two connectors in here. Now, depending on which version of the kit, which revision of the kit you have, your parts might not look the same. Like that part that they just stuck on there, that gray part is the, is the on-off switch. And this is my on-off switch. So just be aware of that. So when you're done, so here's the scissors lift. So the idea is that we rotate the servos and it makes the scissors lift go up. Now, in building the scissors lift, I'm wondering why they put a roof on it because I'm pretty sure OSHA would like you to have rails around your scissors lift instead of a roof. Um, so that's just my little thing. So when you're done building, you can hit the check mark and say, hey, let's start coding. And then um, here are some examples and they have one example program for this. And let's, uh, it glitched on me again. Occasionally the app right now has a little glitch that it freezes up. So let's get back to that. So scissors, little scissor lift is what we're working with. We're good. I want to start coding. I want to use their example. And so there's, I'm just moving them down so we can see them better. Again, every time you go to, to run a program, you need to connect um, the app to the main uh, board. And that's Bluetooth, so it's going to look forward to say yes. And the great thing about their uh, platform is it auto identifies everything. Um, this is saying I've got two servos, I've got a push button, and uh, yeah, I've got a push button, and I've got an uh, infrared sensor because they asked me to put those on. Now, I don't know. No, their example doesn't use the infrared sensor, so why did they ask us to put it on there? I don't know. I'll talk about that later. So, the thing to remember with the servos is they are put on backwards from each other. So, one of them has to be turned clockwise and one of them has to be turned counterclockwise in order for them to both go the same direction. So, here is their... App, let's see, let's see, press, uh, click the button. Abnormal component terminization. Interesting. That's a new one. Let's try this again. So there it expands. And then, let's see, double click. Now, it's one flaw that I found with their numbers, which is, this is what troubleshooting is about, is that zero doesn't get it all the way back down. So you can change the angles. Now, you don't want to go too far. You see that the 45 went pretty much all the way up. Um, you can also change the speed that it does that. So you want to go slower, you want to go faster, you know, take more time to do it or less time. Um, so this is, this is just going to keep running, waiting for me to press. To raise it or double press to bring it down again zero doesn't bring it all the way down um, the third option with clicks are oh, got to turn it off first are click double click and long press so you got three options with the button uh, so here I but oh, no, that's the one I wanted uh, nope, not the one I wanted. My project one. 
So here is what I did for the coating. Uh, when it's tapped, let's use that infrared sensor. Let's use it like a uh, safety. So if it detects anything, uh, right now it says if it's greater than 10, go ahead and just restart the program. So that means if anything, if, if it detects anything less than 10, it's gonna stop the program, meaning you can't run the scissors lift if you get too close to it. Make sense? And then um, here I just played with clicked and long press and played with numbers just to try some different things. Let's find this. It's got my four components. And I've got to hit play. Um, why did you? Oh, because <laughs> because it's kicking out because it, I've got the way I had that angled, it was seeing things. Or maybe not. Yeah, if it's greater than 10, you're supposed to be restarting. It just worked before. There we go. So I gotta be careful where I go. Um, so I've got it single presses like the reset. And that's a negative 20. 20 that I picked on the numbers to get it back to zero. And then I've got long press to operate it to make it go up. Just what I chose. And I went to 30, negative 30. Play with the numbers. Um, I went with 2,500 milliseconds and 3,000 milliseconds. Slow reaction. You see the 20, negative 20, 20 got it down a little bit farther. Um, I might go to negative 25, 25. And again, long press. Raises it up. So. And if you get too close to it, it kicks out of the program as the safety. So. There's playing with scissors lift and some coding ideas.